Today we show you how to install these heads. No, actually, there's, there's no heads on that. There's no heads on it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So we are referencing this How to Build GM LS Series Engines book. It's got over 600 step-by-step -step photos. And if you're looking to rebuild an LS engine the right way, this is the book for you. Unless you know what you're doing, of course. Yeah, then, then you won't need it. The stock head bolts are torque to yield. So you can only use them once. And we're probably not going to do it right the first time. So we got something you can reuse. ARP head bolts. ARP head bolts. Now, since you can reuse them, they take a little bit of a different torque procedure. So stick around to the end and see what that looks like. Step one is to tap in these dowel pins. There's two on each side. They need to be pressed in all the way. It's best not to reuse these. We're going to because we're makeshift mechanics. You're not going to put that in there, are you? No. I thought that was kind of funny. You might need a little tap of a hammer to get it all the way seated. Next, we want to wipe our surface off. Okay, nice and clean one last time. So we got a nice little dirty towel here. Front. We have a front to the front. Some gaskets aren't labeled or it says this side up. If they're unlabeled, just ensure that the few extra ports on the rear of the block aren't covered before you finish installing your casket. Wipe our surface down one last time. This engine's going in our cab swap project. You can click the link in the upper right to watch us test fitting that cab on a 2002 three quarter ton Dodge chassis. There we go. She's on there. All right, should read these instructions. All right, so for the final assembly, the ARP instructions say clean the spot spaces on the cylinder head. Brake cleaner is recommended to clean the spot face where washer seats. Essentially, clean where the washer seats. Use a clean, dry rag to remove any oils from both sides of the washer. It has this little rough side here. Put that facing down. Apply Ultratech to your bolts. Thread them into place. Just hand tight for now. That doesn't seem right. Yeah, this is the one that goes on the end. If you have a 2003 or older, you have two shorter head bolts on each end. Make sure you put those in the end. If you don't put them in the end, they'll just drop down. Won't grab anything. I do want to note that our bolt holes were a little rough, so we had to use a socket to kind of snug them down. Uh, next time we'll use a thread chaser to uh, clean them out uh, before installing our heads. Our head is orientated upside down compared to that picture right there, so make sure you look at that picture, orientate your head correctly, and start torquing. The first sequence is at 25 foot-pounds. Oh, jeez, that was quick. All right, now we go back and we tighten 1 through 10 again to 50 foot-pounds in sequence. The last sequence for bolts 1 through 10, 80 foot-pounds. Now it says do 11 through 15 to 25 foot-pounds. These are the small bolts on the intake side. Just one shot at 25, huh? Yeah. 
Ta-da! Part of our mission here at the Roy Garage is to inspire one million people to go out in their garage and start wrenching again. One way we keep track of that is by our subscriber count. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching this week's episode of the Roy Garage. If you haven't yet, click that subscribe button and we'll catch you next week on the Roy Garage. There it is. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs>